everything's pretty much water oriented here. Steve Harris's business in New Mexico, far flung adventures, depends upon the Colorado River. Uh, I'm part of the river outfitting and guiding industry. The hunters, the fishing, it's, uh, it's an economic driver for our region and increasingly so. Outdoor recreation supports about 47,000 jobs in New Mexico and many others in the West rely on the Colorado. 30 million for drinking water and also for farming and industry. But the Colorado's water levels have dropped 35% in the past 10 years and that shows dramatically downstream. The whole history of developing water in the West was a history of uh, get there first and take yours. And we're just sort of now waking up to the idea that you can set some aside for nature and manage it better. Harris is part of a coalition called Protect the Flows, hundreds of large and small businesses in the Colorado and its tributaries. Some members followed the river to Mexico to see what they hope is not their future. The Department of Interior is now conducting a study on ways to balance the use of the river's water for the next 50 years. Steve Harris and other business leaders say it's important for them and everyone in the basin to get it right. Now that we know that there are ecological consequences to all this water use, maybe we can be a little bit more deliberate about how we do it. Protecting the Colorado's flows, a message they'll share back home and in Washington. I'm Bruce Burkhart.